severity and symptoms of the psoriasis are examined and precisely noted. Light therapy is generally well tolerated and should be applied three to five times a week. Phototherapy uses specific UV light rays that are highly effective. The spectrum of natural UV radiation is divided into UVA, UVB and UVC rays, depending on wavelength. Only long-wave UVA rays and short-wave UVB rays are used for therapeutic purposes. UVA rays have a wavelength of 315 to 380 nanometers and penetrate to the dermis or lower skin layer. Here they impact inflammatory cells and specific connective tissue cells. UVB rays have a wavelength of 280 to 315 nanometers and impact the epidermis or outer skin layer. The long wave segment of UVB light also has a special effect on the lower layers of the epidermis, especially the basal layer. There is a slight danger of erythema in the application of long wave parts of the UVA spectrum as opposed to the application of a UVA-UVB combined spectrum. That is why phototherapy using the selective long-wave UVB spectrum, known as narrow-band UVB therapy, has proved invaluable in the treatment of psoriasis. The maximum peak of UVB rays emitted is 311 nanometers. The effectiveness is due on the one hand to its immune-modulating effect, in which inflammatory cells, for example T lymphocytes and special mediators such as interleukins, are affected. On the other hand, as a result of the optimally suited wavelengths, excessive rapid cell division in the basal layer of the epidermis is inhibited. This complex effect mechanism leads to a clinically measurable improvement in the inflammatory alterations of the skin and a reduction in scaling. As it is highly effective and well tolerated, narrowband UVB therapy is today 